Hi YouTube, now this video is just a quick update on the video that I have previously posted on YouTube about how you can use PDA net to do tethering on a um, iPhone first gen and if you can't figure it out on the iPhone 3G how to use it. So this is a, just a quick video on how you can do it uh, and um, an update to my previous video. Um, now if you haven't seen my previous video then you probably will not know what I am talking about here. So please view the video which, is, which I will have a link to in my description. Now, for, now this is um, how you can do the same as in my previous video but using a Wi-Fi connection. Okay? instead of your USB cable. Now, you will need on your iPhone um, the P PDA Net app, which is available from Cydia. Okay? So, in your previous video, I told you that you needed to um, set your settings to USB mode with Windows, which I'll just show you here. The USB mode one. Okay? Uh, as the Wi-Fi router mode would not work and I didn't know how to set that up. But I have actually managed to figure out how to set up this Wi-Fi router mode here, you know. So I'm just going to get, give you a quick video on how you can set up this Wi-Fi router mode to work. Okay? Now, before I show you how to set it up, I will just tell you there are a couple of downsides to the Wi-Fi router mode. First is that once you have actually connected using Wi-Fi router mode you cannot you can exit PDA net which is not that's rather good that you can exit it because then <coughs> sorry you can actually carry on using your other things on your phone but what you can't do is lock your iPhone whilst you're using it so that is a downside as it will wear down your battery okay now Previously, on my Wi-Fi while I've been testing it before to do this video, I have managed to lock my iPhone and do it. But for some reason, that doesn't always work. Sometimes if you lock your iPhone, it will keep the connection going. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes, most of the time, it won't. Okay? But, anyhow. But, so, once, you have, once you've got this app downloaded, and you've changed it to Wi-Fi router mode, like which I've just shown you, so you've got the tick to Wi-Fi router mode here, Okay, then you need to click done, which is at the bottom there. Okay. Sorry about the angle here, my webcam's not working very well here. Okay. Sorry I've cut off the bottom, there's nothing I can do about that because I'm having a bit... Oh. No. Yeah. That's a bit better. Anyway. Um, so once you've done that, you can just come out of that and you just need to put your iPhone to the side for a minute. Right, now, pre in my previous video, I said in order to use it with a cable, you would need to download the software from my link in order to do it. Now, to do this Wi-Fi, you will not need that software to do it via Wi-Fi. To do what I'm about to show you, to do it via Wi-Fi instead of a cable, you do not need that software. What you need to do is you need to go into Start. Okay, and you need to type into the box NET into your search box. If you haven't got Vista, then you just need to go into your control panel and go to it. And you need to click Network and Sharing Center here. Okay, now once you have loaded Network and Sharing Center, I'm just going to minimize this so I can see what I'm recording as well. Okay, once you um, have Network Sharing Center open. Now that's just telling me that it's connected to my home connection here, which if you have a which you are probably connected to. You need to go over to the. You need to look at the side paint panel and click this one here that says set up a connection or network. Select that. Okay, you'll get a little pop up like this. You need to select the one to the fourth one down. Which says set up a set up AD space HOC, 
bracket computer to computer network okay you want to click on that at this point if you have a Wi-Fi switch on your computer you need to make sure that's on and if your Wi-Fi is external you need to make sure that you've got a plug you got your stick plugged in and connected well it doesn't have to be connected it just has to be plugged in and working now you need to click next which will appear at the bottom there and then once you've clicked that you'll get this little screen up. so you will need to enter in there your network name just there okay and in your network name box um, I've called mine iPhone and then you need where it says WAP to personal okay here just change this to WAP here and then type in either a 5 or 13 digit key now okay and then uh, if you're going to use this more than once I advise you select the save network here okay then you just need to click the next button again sorry I'm having to move all my um, videos around but um, it's because I'm not using a very good video at the minute. now I'm not going now I'm not it's not going to let me go to the next page because I'm not doing this because I've already done it now after this it will take a couple of minutes it will just set up the connection and then it will tell you that it's successfully done and then you can just click either fin it will be finished in your case but I'm quitting cancel okay then in then if you are to go into your Wi-Fi and click connect to a network at the top there okay if you click on that you get a little box up like this and you will have the new one which has your which is the one that you've named so mine's just the second one down here now I've called mine iPhone and it says security enabled network because I've set a security code on it you don't have to do that but I have now okay it yours instead of saying security enabled network connect to it it will say waiting for users to connect okay right at this point you now need to go back to your iPhone okay so here we go just go back to your iPhone here okay and you need to go into settings okay so just my webcam so you can see that okay now you need to click on Wi-Fi and here in the list you'll have I don't because I'm not broadcasting for that at the minute but you, here by my phone you will see in that list your new network your name and if you have a pass lock you'll and then you need to select it and connect to it okay which I'm not going I am not going to do now because it will disrupt my video recording um, because it's not here so I'd need to so but if you uh, you must have on your computer in that net connect to a network box it must say waiting for users to connect and it will appear here okay select it connect to it and that's and then once it's connected to it that's that part done and then you just need to go back into your PDA net and then this screen here will appear this will um, appear saying it's verifying your connections and a couple of other screens may appear after a couple of minutes it will come up with the information about your connection and it will be connected and then once you've done that you can use your connection to connect to the internet on your computer so that's pretty simple although like I said there are the downsides of wearing down your battery not being able to lock your phone and other things like that so I would advise using the cable um, if that is possible. Okay, thank you.